Today I am going to explain about the topic classical free electron theory postulates. Purpose of studying this theory, me, uh, theory is nothing but to verify Ohm's law and for uh, some other uses also it have it. This theory was proposed by the scientists Drude and Lawrence in the year 1900. See these two diagrams I will explain it. See we all know that if any material for example you can consider metal. That metal consists of lot of atoms. We are going to see about one particular atom. See this is one atom. This atom have center part as nucleus which is surrounded by some other electrons in different orbits. We call that one as core electrons. The last orbit, final most orbit electrons we can call valence electrons or free electrons. Then see this rectangular box is the metallic rod and the arrow mark represents it have a lot of free electrons. This positive and negative the that is nothing but the power supply we are going to apply the field. Without applying field these electrons will be in all possible direction but while you apply field that means positive and negative connected like this then this electrons will be drifted towards the positive potential. See this is the postulate explanations. Metals have large number of free electrons. See this rectangular metal have a large number of free electrons that is many arrow mark are, is there no. Then the free electrons in metal form an electron gas. These free electrons form an electron gas. That means we have to assume that these electrons just act like a gas molecules in a container. Absence of electrical field. Suppose if you are not giving any other field to that, then the free electrons direction will be in random direction. These arrow mark will be in random. Any other direction it may be that. While you give the potential like that, that means if you apply field, then the electrons will drift towards a positive potential. Drift means just uh, move, like a move towards a positive potential. And uh, it have a lot of uses. Uh, already you know that uh, it can used to verify Ohm's law and derive weidmann franz law and for the explanation of optical and electrical properties. Uh, classical free electron theory postulate ngeradhu adhudu kolhegal pathnadhu uh, in the theory avandhu propose pannadhu Drude, Lawrence Drude and Lawrence ngeradhu scientist 1909 idhu vandhu oru rectangular metallic rod in the rod la nariya free electrons irukku free electrons in the idhu oru metallic rod idhula nariya atoms irukku that is one atom in the center part of the center part of the nucleus. That is the orbit of the electron is called core electron. The orbit of the valence orbit is called the last orbit, the final most orbit of the electron is called valence electron. In the past plates, number one is called large number of free electrons. In the metallic rod, there are free electrons. Arrow mark. This is an electron gas. How is a gas molecule in a container? That is why the electron is moving. If you apply the potential in the field, you apply the electrons in the other direction, in the random direction. If you apply the field, you apply the positive and negative connection. If you apply the electrons towards positive potential, you can move on. If you look at the uses, you can verify the Ohm's law. The electrical thermal conductivity, you can explain the experiment. इधर वच्चे वाइटमैन फ्रांस ला डेरे पन लाम अपर ऑप्टिकल प्रॉपर्टी पर ती एक्सप्लेन पन लाम दिस आर दैट दैट्स इट थैंक यू